All right, today we are gonna make Southern biscuits. Here's the end product. Really super fluffy, good with gravy. And here's a recipe. If you wanna pause it, you can write this down and put it in your recipe book. Uh, but there is a, a little secret to how to not make them like hockey pucks. Uh, first, get some parchment paper and just put it down on a cookie sheet. You don't need to put any non-stick or anything on there. Just throw the paper on the cookie sheet there. First, we're going to start with uh, two cups of flour. And it's just all purpose. You don't need bread flour or cake flour or anything special. And then uh, after the two cups of flour, you're going to put in a tablespoon of baking soda that got cut out somehow. And then a teaspoon of salt. And once you have the baking powder and the salt with the flour, just mix that up real good and make sure it's dispersed in there. And then go get uh, a stick of butter and your cheese grater. And we are going to grate some butter in there. And just about two or three tablespoons is fine. It's not an exact thing. Uh, but just make a little pile of grated butter on the top of the flour there. And this ratio uh, for this uh, recipe, this makes about eight biscuits. So if you want to make just three biscuits or so, instead of putting two cups of flour in, you can do one third uh, cup of milk and then two thirds cup of water. It's a two to one ratio on the milk. And then just grate a little less butter in there. So however many cups of flour you have, make that two thirds of it and then one third milk. So two thirds flour, one third cup of milk would make less biscuits if you're just one person. And then just mix the butter around with your spoon. Make sure it's mixed in there real good. Uh, grating the butter is just easier than flopping the butter in there and getting a pastry blender and chopping it up. To me, grating the butter is just so much easier. And I like easy, fast tricks and not messy. <laughs> but the pastry blender you do have to use for pie crust. And then we're gonna put one cup of milk, make a little well in the middle of the flour there. And here's the secret to not having hockey puck biscuits that are hard as a hockey puck. You've gotta be really delicate and not mix the tar out of this. You've gotta just kinda of fold it over and turn it and not get too uh, violent with the mixing there. So you just want to kind of flop it around until there's no more milk puddle. It won't be mixed up like a ball of dough. It'll look like a big old mess, uh, but that's okay. As long as the milk is in there, um, we're going to dump this out on the counter and we'll start folding it over itself and that'll make nice biscuit layers. So we're just going to kind of get it blended in. I'm not seeing any milk puddles down in the bottom. So this is just about ready to flop on the counter and go to the next phase because we don't want to over mix it. So let's sprinkle a little flour down here so we don't have everything sticking everywhere. And we're just going to flop it on the counter and start folding it over to make our, our layered biscuits. That way, when you break them open, it'll have some nice, nice layers there. That way you can make you a sausage and biscuit or put some jelly on it and it'll separate easy. All right. So now I'm just going to try to mash it together. So it's all sticking to itself there. We're just going to try to make it come together the best we can. And then we'll start mashing it flat and folding it over so we have those nice layers.
All right, that's looking like it's turning into dough now. And you can flatten this down with your hands uh, to about a half inch thick, quarter to a half inch thick. I'll do some different sizes so you can see what kind of biscuits it makes. You can mash it down with your hands or you can get out your rolling pin and try and get it all even. I'm going to have like uh, one side that's thinner than the other and then we'll do different size biscuits so you can see um, what size comes out after certain thicknesses. And I've got this little cookie cutter here. You can use an upside down glass and make big huge biscuits or you can use a smaller glass and make regular size biscuits. That's just fine. And this should make eight biscuits, but we're just going to make seven because I'm going to make one big huge one. And that camera isn't focusing, so we'll look at the next one. But you can see the layers in the biscuits there. There we go. You can see the layers in the biscuits. And we're just going to pile all this dough kind of on top of one another, and that'll help with the layers. And uh, you just don't want to, the more you work the dough, the tougher the biscuits are going to be. So try to keep it to a minimum on working the dough. It's not like bread where you need to knead it. This is more like a muffin, so the less you work it, the better. Like when you're making blueberry muffins or chocolate chip muffins or something like that. You don't want to over mix it. So we're just going to make a, a big tall fatty right here. Well, that one turned out pretty good. I think we can get another one out. We'll make this one the big one. There we go. This one is going to be huge. There we go. <laughs> It'll be like one of those, uh, you know, those firecracker snakes. You light them and they just grow and grow and grow. Hopefully it won't do that in the oven. <laughs> and then I hate to waste dough, so here's our sad biscuit. That one's not even going to look pretty. Maybe we'll give it to the dog. All right, let me scrape this off. I love this potato cutter. I bought it years ago and it's my favorite kitchen toy. I use it to, to scrape off counters and cut potatoes. It's, it's lovely. All right, let's get these in the oven. We've got it preheated to 350 degrees. And every oven's different, so I would just come back and check on these uh, here in maybe 15 minutes. Oh, they're puffing up. There's the, the tall one. He's looking good. The dog is wanting the biscuits to come out of the oven, too. And then we waited about 20 minutes, and they're starting to be a little bit golden brown on top. I'm going to call them done. We'll bust them open and make sure that everything's all done inside and fluffy, uh, but we don't want to overcook them and have them be hard. Now, if you want to steam them and get the tops all soft, 
Uh, these are kind of crunchy on the outside, but soft and fluffy on the inside. If you want to get the tops uh, steamed and soft, you can pile them all up and put a big uh, lid to a pan, or you can flip a bowl upside down above them, and it'll get the, the tops to be all soft. But these broke apart, and they're all cooked. Even the big giant one I made is cooked in the center. So if you wanted to make just thick, huge, tall biscuits, you could certainly do that. Uh, but these all came out really nice, really fluffy, good with gravy or making a sausage biscuit or anything you want to do with them.